YouTube, how's it going? So today got something different for you. Instead of the content I create playing video games, I decided since I've had a few people ask me how I create TikToks, you know, sometimes I tell people it's actually not that difficult. I've been asked how I do it. So this video is sharing with you the basic steps in creating a TikTok. Hope you like it. Consider subscribing. It's free. Hit the like button. Hit that bell so you get notified every time I drop a video. And enjoy. So first off, I use Wondershare Filmora. That's just what I use. I know there's plenty out there. They'll mostly do the same thing. So pretty much what I'm showing you, you could apply if you have some other video editing program. But Filmora is what I like. It's the only thing I've really used, and I haven't had an issue with it. So with whatever you're trying to edit, you just kind of drag it over and drop it into this import media files. You could also click it, click the plus sign, and it'll pull up your files, and you can do it that way. But you drag it over here, and now you can drag it down to your kind of overlays. I don't know what you want to call it. But to make a TikTok, you need three of these. So what we're going to do is we're just going to drag it down. You see, you just drag it down, and then it asks to match to media. Well, here's the thing. This is for your standard video. Okay, so if I just click this, then I need to edit this to make it a TikTok because you need the vertical alignment. So if you go to File, go all the way down to Project Settings, Instead of widescreen, you're going to go to portrait, 9 by 16. Okay, there's other things you can enter in the custom one, but you don't need to worry about that. Just go to 916, click OK, and then you have the vertical layout. Okay, and then we're going to drag down two more. So we have our three. Now, you don't have to use three. You'll see why I use three here in a little bit, but I just that's just what I use. So first thing I always do is I mute two of these because you'll get an echo effect. So if you just kind of highlight them, right-click, You'll see mute. You can do them both at the same time. Just click mute, and you can see they're kind of grayed out because they're not going to have any sound. Okay. Along with that, you can adjust the sound volume. So if you need it louder or quieter, maybe you have a voiceover part of gameplay or something like that, you can make it a little bit quieter so you can hear your voiceover instead of just all of the gameplay, especially if it's like high action type stuff. From here, I will kind of clip the ends off. I won't take any chunks out. I'll only clip the ends off of what I need. So to do this, you can see I got this kind of like red little scissors here. This is how I, I trim things. You know, this is a little bit of a longer one, so I kind of have to scroll to the end. Most of the time, I'll have just something that's, you know, a few minutes long maybe. Sometimes it might just be the correct length already because I don't need to chop off any of the ends. But all you got to do is highlight what you want to cut and click the cut. It will automatically highlight what's after it. So to delete what's before it, again, highlight it, right-click, and then scroll to delete, I was forget that, and there it goes, and it'll automatically drag what you have all the way to the front. And then again, you can do that to the end of the clip. So I can drag it to the end. You can see, like right now, we're just talking in the lobby about what happened and yada yada yada. So then I'll just highlight it again, clip it, and delete. Now from here, you need to kind of edit these each each individual kind of you know layer you have one thing you want to do is make sure you edit it before you start clipping out because if I all of a sudden you know took out this chunk right here now I'm have to edit the left stuff and edit the right stuff so I'm doing twice as much work I made that mistake once I made a video where I clipped out a bunch of different things next thing I know I'm having to make 10 little edits so you don't want to do that you want to do it first and then clip out chunks if you need to remove chunks you just clip them out again highlight and delete I'm not going to do that yet so I can just hit undo you can see over here to kind of just get rid of that mistake so what I do the top layer is going to be my webcam Okay, that's going to be on top of everything. That way the, there's a background to it. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to go up to crop and zoom. Excuse me, crop and fit. Don't worry about that. Crop and zoom. And there's different things you can do with this. This pan and zoom, I'm not going to do that. But that's where if you want to kind of slowly zoom in or zoom out of something, you know, the bigger you make the start to finish, the faster it's going to zoom. If it barely moves, then it's going to be a slow zoom. But I'm just going to crop. Okay, you can change it different types, custom sometimes I use, but for this one, it's just 16 by nine because that's what my webcam is. And I will just kind of drag it. And I'll try to get it as close. You can see I actually did that pretty well. And I'll try to get it as close as possible. It's not gonna be perfect, but I'll just get like the border of it. Hit okay. And then you can see that is now clipped 
right here and I just drag that straight to the top you could make it so it's a little bit smaller if you want it smaller put it on the side or something like that okay but what I do is I just make it so it's the whole kind of top part of the TikTok itself okay and then I have two other layers okay so this layer the second layer I'm just gonna move to the side for now the third layer is gonna be your background so that's gonna be you know filling in the gaps kind of like at the bottom of the TikTok where all of your you know description and words would be here you know your your uh, hashtags or if you're tagging someone in and stuff like that that's always at the bottom of the TikTok so you don't want something there that people need to see so I kind of drag that down here and then I will take the second one and I'll make it bigger just so my camera is outside that 9 by 16 window because obviously if I did this you would see part of the camera so I make it a little bit larger kind of drag it up a little bit so it goes behind as you can see it's going behind my um, webcam that's why I kind of make that the first one and I just make it something along those lines so that it's out of the window and the windows kind of big enough that you can see what you need to see but you don't need to see everything because it's kind of tick tock you know that wide view you don't need to see the whole thing all the actions happening up front and now we will clip out simply what we need Okay, so I can hit play, you can listen to it, you can see right now I'm spectating my friend basically in this clip what happened is he ends up buying me back and I fly in and I win the match. So what I could do is I could start at the moment he bought me in, I could clip it, get rid of, get rid of the front and you can see right now I, all the way at the end, you can drag to the end, I have a minute and four seconds. Obviously a TikTok, you don't want that long, you can but normally you want to keep it shorter most time people are going to view something that's shorter not a whole minute so what you can do is you can have the buyback you see here he does this yeah. and what I could do is I could either pause it here and I could clip out the moment to when I want it to start again kinda of like when I land and I'm jumping in the building as you can see I could start it there and just clip and delete this or I can make this kind of go fast forward so what I could do is you click it right click Okay, you're going to have to do it three times, which is not too bad. You just have to remember what number you use. Okay, so you can see there's a speed and duration. You click on that, and you want to multiply it by something to make it go that many times faster. So if I just chose like seven, okay, hit a seven, hit OK, you can see that clip shrunk down. So now it's real small. So then I'll do it to the other two, speed and duration, seven, OK, speed and duration, seven, and okay and then you can see now if I were to play this through yeah. he buys me back now it's gonna lag whenever you speed something up it's gonna lag on the preview but when you finish the whole clip and and you know export it which we'll do later you'll see it, it looks perfectly fine but you'll see it'll kind of like lag a little bit here but you can see it speeds up and then now I'm landed you can see the kind of lag the lags really in the audio part of it but I land and then you know the action happens you know we're talking you know yada 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 if I needed to clip something out I could clip something out again you know if I didn't want this to be 54 seconds I could have you know maybe clipped that out instead or you can see here you know I kill one guy I could stop I could stop there there you go I could stop there cut it and then kind of fast forward until when I need to fight someone else. This guy pushes me. I could clip that and just get rid of it. And it's just going to go from one clip to the next. If I were to play it, I kill the guy and it goes to the next thing. Now you could add a transition. I'll kind of show you that. So from there, you just let the clip run. Right now, if I wanted it to be this long, right now it's 49 seconds, which to me isn't too bad it might be a little bit long for a TikTok, so I might take out another chunk here and there but if you wanted to add a transition there's plenty of them you could do it can be you know something you know anything it doesn't really matter you just kind of plop it in there Dude, what the fuck? You. and then there you go I show you again all you do is you just kind of drop it down onto the video and play yeah. and you can see there's the transition if you don't like it you just hit undo 
to get rid of it. And then there's, you can see there's a whole bunch of ones. I don't do true too many transitions. I used to, but I kind of like just to get to it just because you don't want to waste too much time. If you want to make a longer TikTok, then that's fine. And that's basically it right there. So all you'll do is you'll hit export. You name it, whatever you name it. We will say YouTube TikTok. I normally put TT for TikTok making. And then here's one thing you can do if you click settings. Now, obviously, you want the best quality possible. It, you could put good, but it's not going to be as clear if you just put best, because why not? It's not. It's going to be more clear and less grainy. And it's going to look actually a lot better than the video that you probably looked at to begin with. And then you just hit OK. I always have it on best. Um, if you're doing a full YouTube video or something like that, it'll take a little bit of time to process. But this one, you can see, I'll click OK. I'll click Export. And you see it's converting. It's not going to take too long, especially with something that's less than a minute. It just kind of goes through. Once this is done, here, here's the important part. You have this video. Okay, once it's done, it's going to save it. For me, it saves it to, I kind of show you here. If I go to my PC, I have an output kind of folder and you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff in here you can see the YouTube making but these are all videos I've done in the past you can see I did some drafts of something but it just pops in there so then you have the video so once it's done you just click close okay and then and then you could actually continue editing there's sometimes where I've made a video a longer video and then I've shortened it or made like a part one and a part two where I still had all the stuff there but you can just simply close out of this it says this has been modified. Do you want to save it? You could save it. It will hog up space on wherever you're saving it to. You don't need to. If, if you trust that what you have done is final and you're going to end up uploading that and that's going to be the end of it, then you don't need to. So I normally just click no. Now here's the, here's the part that a lot of people don't know about. If you just go to Google Drive, you can upload it to your drive. Because obviously when you're uploading a TikTok, you don't want to upload it through your computer because you have less kind of capabilities. You want to upload it through your phone. That's why you see a lot of people, though, they're taking a video of themselves with their phone and blah, blah, blah to make a TikTok. Well, if you upload it to your drive, simply click the plus sign, file, upload, and then you go find it right here, YouTube, TikTok, making, open. And it's going to load here, which it actually doesn't take that long. You can see less than a minute left. And it's done uploading. So from there, what you do is on your phone, you need Google Drive, okay? which most people nowadays have. Is, you know They have Gmail, and it's all kind of linked. So on your Google Drive, you simply go to Recents. Okay? You can see there's a Recents here. Okay? You can see I got some other stuff there and whatnot. But you go to Google Drive. Okay, on your phone, you click Recents, and it's very simple. It's going to be the top one. I don't know if you could see this. Maybe you can see it, but there's three little dots on the side. You click Dots. You click Send. Copy. I hope it's kind of clear for you guys. I can't really tell. But you hit Send Copy. And then below that, you just go down, and... It says save video and you click save video and it's now saved to your phone so you can upload it directly to TikTok from there. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, drop a like, subscribe if, if you want. It's free. So that'd be awesome. Drop a comment. If you have any questions, if you want me to do another video like this or a certain part of that you want to see or ask questions about, just feel free to drop a comment. Also, I'm going to be uploading a super short version of this on TikTok. So go ahead and check that out. Just type in Riz12. You'll be able to find me. I'll see you out there next time.